Why do we abandon books that we start reading only to give up on them? Or why do we love certain authors, read some books but not others? Well, th it's a very interesting question and there's a lot of psychology actually involved in this. You read books or you hear about very important books, War and Peace, Catch-22, The Catcher in the Rye, uh, and a number of others. Uh, prolific books, or even looking at uh, Plato's The Republic. These are the types of books that have moved civilization forward. But in a lot of cases, people start reading them and then actually give up on them. Uh, social media site Goodreads actually did a very cool infographic on uh, the psychology of abandonment. And they realized through their big data that... Catch-22, Lord of the Rings, Ulysses, Moby Dick, and Atlas Shrugged topped the top five of books that people started and actually abandoned reading. Uh, for contemporary books, J.K. Rowling's The Casual Vacancy, Fifty Shades of Grey, Eat, Pray, Love, Girl with a Dragon Tattoo and Wicked were the modern books that people started and gave up on. Well, you have to be living under a rock if you haven't heard of Fifty Shades of Grey. It was pretty well uh, the book that had outsold all other books in the last few years. Interesting note, Harlequin, which is the largest romance publisher in the world, Fifty Shades of Grey sold more books in one e in, in a year of that just that one book than Harlequin sold in the last two years of book sales combined. So we look at Catch Twenty Two, uh, Ulysses, Moby Dick. These are books that are considered classics. In a lot of cases, people find that the old English or the way that the characters are portrayed do not resonate well with them under modern contemporary circumstances. In other cases, you may have grown up on the Harry Potter series and you love that sort of niche, but when, she, when the author started writing mysteries and um, modern day political type books, a lot of her audience did not follow her to those other books. Um, other people have said that I adore the Harry Potter books, but I'm not the kind that would read everything written by a favorite author, in this case, Rowling. I refuse to read her other novels, including the Harry Potter companion books, as well as the casual vacancy and the cuckoo's calling. Another user w weighed in and said, I read for pleasure and to escape the real world and not to better myself. I'd become a better person by reading these serious tomes, I know, but I haven't read them. I'm not a better person and thus far I wouldn't actually read them. So, a lot of people find that these older books, you know, a lot of them are put down women. <laughs> their their uh, story arcs do not make sense. Um, you look at sort of the older books that's like written under an older form of English or their books that are translated, e.g. Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. Uh, it was originally published, I believe, in Swedish and then it was ported over to various other languages. So sometimes things do get lost in translation. Some people also are a bit of a book snob. If you read a lot of literary great books like The Goldfinch, often you'll see Fifty Shades of Grey and you'll be like, Fifty Shades of Grey, what the F, right? Um, in other cases, people people's top reasons why they end up abandoning a book is um, when the author is committed to doing something that I hate, I don't like the main character, extremely stupid, uh, inappropriate, makes me feel uncomfortable, weak writing, slow burning, and ridiculous or non-existent plot. But what keeps you churning the pages? Well, I have to know what happens is probably the most important uh, one out there. Um, I judge a book by its ending, I'm committed to a series, and as a rule, I like to finish things. So, people for the majority say, um, according to Goodreads, that I always finish no matter what. And often people will start a classic and come back to it a few days later. You look at, say, uh, Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. 
the movies did tremendously well, and they continue to do well, but the books themselves are actually difficult reads. Um, the Hobbit is an easier read, but it was written and more, mainly kids develop a fonder appreciation of it. If you're an adult and you read The Hobbit, you see a lot of the immature type writing. Whereas like The Lord of the Rings, it's not an easy read, but you watch the movies and the, the it makes sense. But the, the movies and the books are almost completely two different things. What do you think? Do you think that people more often see a classic like The Republic or Catch-22 or uh, Moby Dick and you hear about these books your entire life. You maybe try reading a few chapters. Do you end up giving up on it or do you actually read the entire book? Just because a book is hyped a lot in the media like Fifty Shades of Grey, does that make of the book a must read or do you read the book a few, few chapters in or not even? Maybe just like the first chapter and I'm tapping out on this book. Give us your thoughts. You've heard mine for goodyreader.com. My name is Michael. YouTube.com slash goodyreader is the channel name if you're watching this on another website or channel. That is where we have over 920 videos. We do lots of contests. We take requests. Uh, we have lots of news blasts, discussion, round table discussion, even though our table is a square or rectangle. And uh, lots of drive time videos with your yours truly, right her. And lots more stuff on that channel. And of course we do requests. So if you guys have anything you want us to film or have anything you want us to talk about, let us know and we will try our best to accommodate.